Welcome to KDL's Grow with the STEM Greenhouse. In this program, you're going to do different STEM activities. There's fun and hands-on experiments that you can do from home. Hosting them is our friend from STEM Greenhouse. She's actually the person that created it. Her name is Dr. Kelly Christopher. And a fun fact about her is that she has her PhD in agriculture engineering from the University of Illinois. And she's the first black person to have that degree from the university and the third black woman in the whole wide world to have that degree. So join her for some different activities. We're gonna be featuring seven activities this summer for you to do at home. If you need the instructions um, and you want to print them out so you know what you need to do and you have some written instructions to follow along, you can access those through our website. If you go to www.kdl.org slash kdl dash lab. You'll find the instructions there in some of our blog posts. So get excited and get ready to learn about some more STEM things. I'm going to pass it on over to Dr. Kelly. Have fun. Hi STEM scholars, I'm Dr. Christopher and today I am so excited to talk to you about levers. Levers are considered one of the oldest simple machines. Uh, all you need to have a lever is some type of stick or a board or something and then you need a fulcrum. Well what is a fulcrum? One easy example of a lever with a fulcrum is a seesaw or a teeter-totter. You sit on the board or the, the lever part and then the point about which the lever pivots or rotates, that's the fulcrum. So we're gonna be making a couple of fulcrums today. And, um, but you might be saying to yourself, well, what makes that a, a machine? You'll see and you'll find out when we do this activity. So here are the supplies that you need. You're gonna need some balsa wood and they've been cut to eight inch and 12 inch pieces. That's for our levers. These are binder clips, the middle part of the binder clips. They're gonna be the fulcrum. You also need some cups. The cups you have will be paper. I'm just using these today because I want you to be able to see through the cups. You need some masking tape, a ruler, uh, a sand. We're gonna use a sand as a weight, as well as a scoop to scoop the sand and you're gonna need a pen or pencil, something to write with, okay? So for the first lever, we're gonna use the eight inch piece of balsa wood. We're gonna start by measuring two inches from one end. We're gonna use our pen to draw a little line uh, two inches from one end. So just do that. So once you have that um, line, we can move on to the next step. I'm gonna take your cups. We're going to tape these, um, tape the balsa wood onto the cups. Just take some masking tape. Now the line that you drew two inches from one side, you're gonna use that to be the place where you have your fulcrum. So the fulcrum is going to be this um, 
piece of the binder clip, but we've got to tape it on there. The way I usually do is I put a little tape on one side like this and then put it on the balsa wood. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but you want to, you don't wanna tape it too tightly. You want it to be somewhat loose because you want this to be able to move around. Okay. So now we have our uh, fulcrum or, and our lever. We're gonna start, we're gonna put one scoop of sand, we're gonna level the scoop so it's nice and flat, not, not rounded. Put it on one side and put another scoop on the other side. Now you can see that even though these both have the same weight. This side is still down. So we're gonna add scoops of sand to this side until it levels out or until this side uh, comes down. So that's the first scoop. Here's the second one. Third. Fourth. So it took five scoops of sand in order for this, um, in order for this lever to uh, tilt the other way. So what this basically shows us, though, is that one scoop of sand on this side can hold more than four times its weight on the other side before it, um, before this lever fails. So we're going to put this one aside. This one took five scoops before it went that way. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, but this time we're gonna use the 12 inch piece of balsa wood. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. We're gonna start with our one scoop on each side. And we're just gonna keep adding until this one scoops over. So this one flips over. So we got one, two, Whoa, this is why you need to make sure you're in a place where you can get a little dirty. So anyway, it took 13 scoops before this one flipped over, okay? So what does this show us if we look at both of these? We had, this one took five and this one took 13. Well, this one has a longer lever than this one. So one of the things about a simple machine like a lever, it makes work easier. The effort that it took to hold up four scoops of sand, it was very little effort for the load. This would be considered the load end, this would be the effort end. In physics, we would call this the effort end and the load end. And this one, when you have a longer lever, you can hold even more weight. So this was one scoop of sand, and this held 12 times its weight on the other side just using a lever. So that's one of the things that you um, can learn from that simple machine. 
Now, it's time for you to maybe have a little fun on your own. We've got a couple of materials for you to do something uh, fun. Now, balsa wood is pretty lightweight and it uh, breaks pretty easily, so I've given you a stir stick. This is like you stir paint with, and it's made out of a little bit stronger wood. You also have a ping pong ball. Now you have cups, you can use any of the materials that you have in your STEM kit, uh, including these fulcrums again, use the tape, and create some type of machine that you can use to fling this ping pong ball and see how far you can get it across the room. You might need some scissors perhaps to cut the cups, but I hope you have fun with it. So that's all for today. Um, I hope you learned something and I hope you have fun. I can't wait to see you again, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.